My name is Rapsy, it's time to feed on Donu. Let's pop this all the way down to... Yeah, I'll do... I'll do A1. Just so that they can get a bit more powerful a bit more quickly. Random Rare Relic? Ugh, no. Alright, how many elites am I fighting on this floor? Ooh, I can fight four? You know I want to do that, just because I... Hmm, good, fun to do. Choose a card to obtain and Rampage. Yup. Immediately building a Rampage deck. I can't believe you gave that to me. Of all people. You gave me the Thin Deck card. Alright. I guess. On your own head be it. No, I'm building a Warcry. I'm, I'm building a Rampage deck. Screw it. The the game gave me lemons, and now I'm going to make a rampage deck. It actually didn't give me lemons. Like this is really cool. It's just I'm trying to think of other phrases that involve making something out of something else. They're usually about making a bad situation into a good one, but in this case, it's a totally good situation, and I am going to capitalize on it. Rampage from the start. Oof. Been looking for a build like this recently. Nope. Yes, I know Metallicize like gets itself out of the deck after only one play. Maybe it's a good idea to take, but I'm not going to. If it doesn't help me play more copies of Rampage now, nope. Not interested. Especially right now here on the first floor, because I've got four elites lined up. This is almost certainly a removal. Yeah, the only thing that could have decide, uh, made me decide not to remove here would have been... Uh, would have been... Time to steroid potion. Would have been... Ryan, brain, please. If I had found feed on sale or something like that. This is the Emerald Elite. The deck is relatively thin, so like all of these days in the deck are trashing it, but we're not in A20, so it's not like they're adding three days to our deck each time. They're only adding two. It's much more manageable. What I'm effectively saying is I didn't think it was this likely I was going to be playing only one defend each turn, otherwise I would have used the decks earlier. After this Elite, I am going to upgrade Rampage because it desperately needs to be upgraded to become as potent as it is meant to be. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Was really hoping to draw a complete gut Chan there. Or at least both of the offensive cards. So I would have saved now... 10. 10 damage had I played out my Dex Potion earlier. Happy Flower, every three turns, gain in energy, as well as like a bunch of stuff I'm not taking. Yeah, I'm not going on a path that Searing Glow is compatible with. Woohoo, found the Relic. Okay, I don't even have to fight the Elite. Ooh, actually, hang on. If I want to fight four Elites this floor, I have to skip this rest, which is the upgrade of the Rampage to become twice as powerful. I'm not going to do it. Don't do what I'm currently doing. This is almost certainly a garbage idea, but oh well. With only 10 cards in the deck, I'm actually pretty happy. Yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased because that means that I never end up in a situation where Rampage is the bottom card of my deck and I take a bunch of damage while I'm trying to avoid it. Take a bunch of damage while I'm trying to avoid it? No, that's not what I meant. Uh, it means I'm not in the situation often where I am in a new shuffle and still only playing my first Rampage. That's what I mean. 
Wylog Vulan, hello. Red Skull, while your HP is addable, if you percent, you have three additional strength. That's obviously really good for us right now. We can cancel when we rescue Mana Cards today. Sure. But yeah, I mean, if I'm going to be fighting all of these elites, sure, the Red Skull is just going to come in handy. Make me a wee bit more powerful. Thank you. Tori, whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduced to one, and like a bunch of other stuff appeared as well. Isn't that weird? Let's go to the more question marks. Remove the card. Ooh, upgrade a card? No, I'm going to be upgrading a card directly before the boss, right? Because it's Hexico, so I'm not going to rest, so remove the card. Nice. Another log of all in. And we have Rampage. Oh. We have Rampage in the opening hand, but we also have three extra strength from the Red Skull. So I can't just use the first Rampage and then start chaining off from there. I will, however, defend a bunch that turn. Rampage next turn is lethal. You're fine. Nunchku, every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy as well as a bunch of stuff that doesn't help me. Ooh, remove another card from the deck. It is! Oh, hell yes! Uh, nothing else here that I'm actually interested in. Beautiful. Transformer card? Yeah, Transformer Strike. Perfected! <laughs> I just transformed that strike in such a fashion as to prevent it from actually being useful for me at all. Beautiful. Right, so we will take three damage there. That's pretty good. Now, these burns being put in our deck, that is a problem. That is something that does concern me. Only due to the fact that the burns in our deck are spacing out our rampages. Double tap is an obvious wish list card. But after this boss fight, the rare card that we pick up. And yeah, set we kill. Very glad that I drew an attack that turn. If we didn't, I was going to be pretty sad about it. Limit break, bludgeon, brutality. Probably not. Ugh. Inability to upgrade pods, uh, cards past this point is rough. But the problem is if I take Pandora's box, I might end up with no defense. And then I have Rampage in a deck with no defense. And I just die while I'm trying to ramp. Um... Obviously, I can't put two wounds into my draw pile. Bad idea. Just slows down my cycle too heavily. I Maybe I take the Fusion Hammer. Because I'm not going to upgrade any of the rest of these cards in this deck. They're all just cut fodder. With the, uh, with the Rampage already upgraded, I'm kind of comfy doing this. Right. Elites this floor. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Three maximum. So Parfit has a bunch of question marks, I guess, as well as those three elites. It's probably what we're going to have to go for. All right. I'll focus on the one that's buffing, obviously, because it's going to be more potent more quickly. <sighs> really? Really? Like, both of you, though? Okay, so these enemies have 50% less attack damage, but I do 50% more when I bash, but I'm pretty sure that theirs applies first. So, uh, like, if I bash, I deal 4 damage, and then you reduce Rampage by 50% to 12, and then I increase it by 50% to uh, 18. So I can't take an enemy down this turn, effectively, is what I've just figured out. Yeah, one more upgrade of Rampage is not to do it, though. Alright. Oh, you 
couldn't even bother drawing me into Rampage, apparently. Fine, I'll do it myself. I love the anchor just defending me here on the first turn so that I can go outright aggressive. It's happening constantly. I'm very appreciative. The first card from this deck at this point is obviously the perfected strike, but still, I'm surprised by how much work it's doing for us right now. Okay, so Enchiridion is the best draw here. Milri's Codex is okay. Uh, Necronomicon is actually bad. I probably wouldn't take it. And pretty. Great. Great. So I get a random power card at the start of each combat for free. This power is free. Just two extra strengths with the combat. Don't mind if I do. Even a full defense thereafter. Ooh. Hefty work being done by this Rampage really quickly as well. And by the time I've worked down the Centurion, you can bet the Mystic is going to be terrified of me. One Bash Rampage and you're dead. Yeah, here's the Rampage coming around the corner. Goodbye, Mystic. No, not for me though. Remove a card from my deck. Oh, of course. Thank you. Get the perfected strike out of there. Don't know why I even considered the normal strike first. Juggernaut. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is a lot of damage for us over the course of this combat. It's already 15 damage that turn. I want to play all of the defense in the rampage. It's the problem here. I don't even get to bash. Again, all the defense and a strike. Bash is important, but it's not more important than my defense right now because they actually also give us damage. Oh, God. Well... We've got Red Skull triggered at the very least. Bright side. Bag of Marbles at the start of combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies as well as blank space immediately thereafter. Weird, that. Uh, Ritual Dagger. Uh, I think it's too late to start building the Ritual Dagger. For me, at least. I will use a Strength Potion in this combat. I can't make myself vulnerable for three turns. Maybe does nine. No, I can. Because the enemy's not going to be attacking this turn, and not many enemies are going to be attacking next turn, hopefully. Did I get that wrong? Is that dumb? Is he? You are attacking this turn. Okay, I just killed myself. What a dumb, bad play. Thanks for the hit, Gremlin Leader. Oh, you are actually kidding me with that, right? That draw leading the Bash and the Rampage on the bottom of the deck? At least I got to throw the Rampage against the backliner. Hopefully you're not attacking this turn. You aren't. Okay. I strike and then I kill you the Rampage next turn. Uh, yeah, I have to dodge away from Elites now. Otherwise, I think I just eat dust. So the thing I'm going for this run is feed on Donu, just in case I didn't mention it before. The reason I say just in case I didn't mention it before is because I know I didn't. The boot, whenever you do a four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Yes, I'm going for the extra elite. Yes, I'm aware of what I'm doing. Really? Oh, that hurts. 
Didn't get Rampage in that hand, and I didn't get all defense either. At the very least, we got Barricade at the start, so you know, it wasn't so bad. It could be a lot worse right now. Yeah, this only ends up working if I draw the ability to kill the Slaver in the back line, and I haven't. We're dead. All right. That, that was definitely a case of, you know, running a certain build so stringently that you force the deck to die or become the build. Eh. I'm kind of okay to do that occasionally. Ooh, bag of marbles. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. I'm, I'm going to try and go, like, hyper-aggressive here. Utilizing the bag of marbles a bunch. Also, so that I can get to the third floor and see if there even is a Donu to feast upon. Because I can do the whole build, get to the third floor, and Donu doesn't spawn. Tragic when it happens, but it's happened to me before. So while I'll make sure to set myself up for it, like if I see a feed, I'll take a feed. I'm not going to be too... Dragon's Defend got upgraded. Neat. Uh, Regal Pillow, whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. Remove card from the deck. Get a Defend out of here. Because currently, this could still be a perfected strike build. But I, I will make sure that I'm set up for getting Feed. Or for getting the Donu kill. With Feed. but I don't necessarily expect it to definitely occur. Yeah, I'm going to draw just to get the bash in hand at this point. Just because playing only two strikes on that turn is pretty sad, especially considering it's possible I have lethal this turn. And I do. Beautiful. With the bash having been played the turn prior. Uh, Nunchku, every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy as well as new. Not aggressive enough. Speaking of aggressive enough, we should upgrade the bash for the extra turn of vulnerability if we're going to be fighting three elites this floor, which we are. Make sure to play the upgraded cards there at the very least. Alright. I know this hand is... Bash Twin Strike, and I knew I was probably going to get the kill the turn after. Would have to be pretty hardcore mitigating circumstances to prevent that. Uh, Smiling Mask. The Merchant's Card Removal Service now always costs 50 gold, and there's a bunch of other stuff on offer there as well. Weird. Let's go for a card removal service, though. Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. There's Limit Break. I'm not going for another Rampage. I already tried that. I want Limit Break, but I also want Bag of Preparation. I probably want Limit Break more. I do want Limit Break more. I'm going to cut another Defend and add a Flex. Oh, what? I didn't even know that we weren't in the, the actual shop on this path. Otherwise, I would have left myself with 50 for another removal. But I probably shouldn't remove another Defend. Lethal. Had to make sure that I had the Nunchaku ready. Uh, alright. Darkstone Periapt, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. I could take a shrug it off now. I mean, the deck right now, if I want to run it this way, I could add Clashes. That's very aggressive. We'll add the shrug it off though. Just gonna make sure to get the inflame. Ooh, would I have had lethal without the inflame there? Hang on. Should have taken an extra second to count that one. I'll actually throw the poison on the front line here and just kill it. 
not interested in becoming frail, especially because the backliner is very likely to just hit me every single turn. Mm -hmm. All right, we should have lethal next turn. Wait, no, we're weakened now. Oh, still fine. Good. Right. Fire potion as well as rage works perfectly in this deck. We're super aggressive. Immediately upgrade that rage. That Ooh, limit break has to be upgraded first. Sorry. It's my win con, yo. My god. Very appreciative that we keep getting limit break at the right time. Oh no! Nunchku! I could have attacked again. Damn it. I should have attacked again. So I'll draw extra cards this turn. There's limit break. Oh, flex, limit break, rage, and just attack, attack. Easy decisions to make. All right, so limit break, feed, actually in order, feed, limit break, reaper. Feed, reaper, limit break, sorry. As in what I want from finishing this boss fight. By Guardian and hello to none of the things I asked for. I could take Immolate literally just to have power against AoE next floor. That's a good idea. Ooh, putting wounds in my deck is difficult when we have combo cards like Rage and Flex that don't do anything by themselves and require your other cards in hand to be good. I'm going to take Black Star and Hunt Elites next floor. This could also kill me, but it sets me up to have a stronger run. Three Elites. And there's actually like a really good start here. Three Elites, so I'll happily take that. Shrug it off just to see if I get any strength gain. I do not. Should have been Bash Strike. I didn't need see that I had the Nunchaku coming up. I need to be more vigilant about that. And goodbye enemy though. Take another fire potion and a pre-upgraded shrug it off. Well, that's just kind. Uh, obtain the special relic here, definitely, because we do want as much aggression as we can put out on the first turn. I'll take the money just because if I get Gremlin Visage to weaken us on turn one, that kills us. We instantly lose. Uh, another copy of Rage and Whirlwind are really good, though. I'll remove another defend. I'm really defensive in this deck now. Despite everything. I'm actually pretty damn defensively powerful. Okay, flex. Double Rage. Flame, Limit Break, and then Shrug it off. I had no attacks in that hand. That is so wild. That very, very rarely happens to us here. Yeah, I'm not taking 12 damage though. I don't have to though. Pre-upgraded Whirlwind. Okay. Well, if I had have known I was eventually going to get a pre-upgraded Whirlwind, I wouldn't have taken Immolate. I probably wouldn't have taken the first Whirlwind either, but I might have still. Just because of this. Drawing it on turn one is so damn powerful. Uh, anchor, sludge combo, 10 block. Great, we get to go aggressive early. Kunai, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dex. That doesn't affect rage, so I'm not super interested. I could take Pommel Strike here, but I, I haven't found a perfected strike yet, so it's, it's pretty late to turn this into a perfected strike build. I do want both of the rage upgraded. Pantograph, style boss combats, heal for 25 HP. Neat. I should have just attacked the backliner. Like, I'm almost certain to use AoE at this point to try and clear. Whoa! Oh, no, right. Rage is working. It's just not an upgraded rage. There's 
wondering why I was dealing so little damage. Right. Well wins? Okay, we do have well wins, but... I have to play it there. Damn. I'm taking a fair lick of damage while I'm doing all of this. Meat on the bone would be really good for us. What else would be incredible? Killing the enemies that turn. That's pretty damn good. Uh, or a Calcum. If you end your turn without blocking, six block. Pretty good. Bottled Flame. Upon pickup, choose an attack. Start each combat that in your opening hand. We'll put the Whirlwind in the opening hand so that we can just clear fights instantly. Uh, I will take an Iron Wave uh, because it triggers off of Rage and Flex and it's good for the fact that we have a Kunai in the deck. Red Skull. While your HP is at below 50%, you have three additional strength. I'm actually considering that. Uh, the other option is just go Lantern. Probably not card removal at this point. Lantern is an additional trigger of Whirlwind on turn one. In AoE fights like this, that's huge. Quetstone upon pick up upgrade to attacks as well as Frozen Egg when you add a power card to your deck. Upgrade it. Reaper. Quetstone upgrades Reaper. Oh, not necessary at all. <laughs> I wanted to make it sound like it was a really, really monumental occurrence, but no, it actually really doesn't matter even slightly. We found so many copies of Dual Wields. I think two of the copies of Dual Wields have been on sale. I think the game is trying to apologize to me for screwing up. Uh, right, we're not doing perfected strikes anymore. Uh, I think the game is trying to apologize to me for screwing up my infinites for so long. Okay, Collector. Point of Dex, though. Imlate's not upgraded, so I really hope I don't draw that soon. At least we had enough to kill one of the Torch Heads there, saving me seven damage. Immolate, Twin Strike, Whirlwind. That gives us the extra point of Dex there. Basically, as best as I can afford it. Again, we get the extra point of Dex. It's going to be particularly good when I draw my Iron Wave. Speaking of. Good to see you, Iron Wave. I, I have not gotten a good limit break off yet. Which is terrifyingly sad because it means that Reaper is just sitting there. Doing nothing for me. Ouch. Another 21. Okay. Enemy's probably not going to have time to summon again, so... I think it is time to use the Reaper. Yeah, they're not going to have time to summon again. Time to murder. Beautiful. Uh, I will take feed? No feed. Ooh, double tap offering. Double tap is really good. Offering is fine. Double tap is probably better. Heal 10 after each combat is good, but Ori is... It's such a low chance that we find a rare card from normal card selections from Ori, so I'm going to take Black Blood. I actually really wanted energy there, so I'm quite sad. Okay, we did find Donu. So now what I need to do is try and hit as many shops as possible to try and get as much of a chance to find feed as possible. No feed. The last shop is very, very late. So I can afford to remove another card here. Uh, 
I can take this relic as well. Um, I kind of do want to go for elites while I'm doing this. Just so that this is a good run, even if it doesn't get the objective I'm looking for. Although I will be sad if it doesn't get the objective I'm looking for. Get that one extra point of dex, just in case it's the point that matters. Havoc actually could have made some kind of sense in this deck, but if it played feed in the Donu fight, it would, I, mm, sad dude about it. So unfortunately no limit break in the first hand there. Ooh, also not in this hand. That's kind of annoying. Oh, it's at the very bottom of the deck. That's awful. Thanks. Absolutely dreadful. I love it. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything to synergize with that limit break at all. That's so, so sad. I want like another inflame, or at the very least, to upgrade my current inflame. That's probably a much more reasonable task. Please stop hitting me. I uh, I will. I am very fragile. I think I might just be dead in this combat. I'm going to double tap this strike and then play a whirlwind afterwards. Gets my extra point of dex as well as this is five block for each of the attacks that I played there. The only thing I can even do in this turn is set up that bash. Without any extra energy, a deck that's entirely built... Oh, God. I, I have to use this to heal this turn. Like, healing is my defense this turn. Uh, without enough luck on drawing limit breaks at the right time and stuff like that, yeah, we're just... we're dead. A deck like this is just... Oh, gonna have a hard time. Also, without the energy to support Whirlwind, life just gets really, really hard. We found absolutely no energy relics over the course of that entire run, I'm pretty sure. I would have taken one at the end of the first floor, right? I can't see which I turned down, but... I can see what I took, which should jump my memory. Uh, we end up taking Black Star. Yep. There can't have been an energy relic there. An absolute and utter shame, but that's okay. We still hadn't found a feed, so it's not like we were on track for the feed on Donu. One of the reasons I want to do a strength deck when I'm trying to go for feed on Donu is because making feeds so impactful that it can't be ignored, like you have 90 strength feed is 100 damage uh that's a great way to get it done otherwise oftentimes you'll be sitting there waiting for feed and then in that time don't win decker ramp up and kill you for the moment though my name is Rhapsody. the name of the game has been slayed this by hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time